Hi everyone. My name is Vidit Kulshrest and today I am going to show you new cool and exciting features on ServiceNow Vancouver release on Flow Designer. So let's get started. So here are the list of topics those uh, I am going to discuss with you today. The topics are Flow Designer homepage, data build breakdowns and how can we edit those and subflow support in diagramming view dynamic input supports in actions subflow stages and do the following there's a there's an action do the following until support in diagramming view now assess recommendations and callback flow logic so let's get started so i'm having an instance here so this is a new flow designer home page so you can see earlier to Vancouver version in Utha version flow designer home page was not like this uh, that that was a simple structure where we are having only flows and subflows and nothing else so here you can see on the right hand side we are having these options like uh, it it is giving us some options here like pick up where we you left off so here all the recent flows will be available here then we are having flow execution matrix Flow execution matrix. Uh, this is what you can configure this how your flows are performing well or poorly that can be directly visible on the home page here. So this is not configured here correctly here, but you can configure it. Coming to the next one recent activity. So in the recent activity all those users who have recently work on these things like say if you are working on a team then all those things on which your teammates are working you can see those here. And at the end we are having the resources and uh, these are the links for the product documentations of the flow design and, and community links. So you can you can navigate back here. There is a drop down here all work and uh, created by me. So you can you can just use these things uh, just to filter out the things which was created by you and which was all available in the system. So service now is really revamp uh, what was available in Utha release now what is available in the Vancouver release. Now I'm going over to the next topic data will break down and how can we edit those. So let me open the flow for this and service now has also worked on the performance of the flow designer that has been reduced by up to 60% by service now. So this is really very good here. Okay, so here you can see uh, like this uh, data pill that I'm having earlier there there was no option to edit these uh, data pills uh, once that data pill has been selected. Now you can see there is a once you click here and you will get an option to edit this data pill as well. Okay, so how can you edit this? We need to just uh, click here. Once you click here and after that these things are editable and you can select whatever you want to select. Let's say if I want to select the assign to I can select here assign to from here and also if you want to select something else and uh, let's say if I only want to select the uh, record and then if I want to go to the caller and then uh, manager. Okay, so this is very very cool features of flow design like we don't have to remove the whole data pill. We can just edit that data pill. Directly, okay, without adding a new one from the right nav from this data bill. The third one is subflow supports and diagramming view. Earlier, the only flow was supported in diagramming view. Now you can see the subflow are also supported in diagramming view. So here you can see I have already opened a subflow here, and you can see there is an option view option to change it to the diagramming view. Also, we can see here. Okay, so let me just change it to diagramming view. I've just clicked there. So now you can see this is a flow what we have. This is a more like a kind of a workflow what we have earlier in service now that was work workflow and flow came later. So this is more like similar to workflow only. So from here only you can just edit those and you can just create those new and you know whatever you want to add. If you want to add something then there is some plus icon is there from here uh, from here you can either add actions flow logic or subflow depending on your requirement. So uh, dynamic input supports in action it is something that you can use uh, when you are doing integrations or something like that. So this is a kind of custom action. So in the dynamic input support you can create your own action during flow design dynamic inputs retrieve values and display them as inputs within the action and these type of dynamic input are of mostly three types dynamic input so let me show you here all right let me create a new one so if i just call it action all right so now you can see there are three options dynamic choice dynamic input and dynamic template 
okay and once you select select the dynamic input it will just ask for the action which you need to select okay so let's say my action is uh, something kind of uh, microsoft okay so this is what i can select and use this as an input in a uh, different action okay so i am using this action as an input in my action okay so this is what cool features of service from flow designer so i really like that so much it is uh, it will be very useful in during integration designs going over to the next one subflow stages you can see earlier only sir uh, service of flow designer was having stages but now from this release from vancouver release we are having sub stages in subflow as well okay so let me open this subflow one once again so so here you can see we are having subflow stages as well. So if these subflow stages can be defined from here and these subflow stages are, are very useful while while working on the catalog items. So this is what you can define here. Uh, just like similar to the uh, flow what we used to do in flow. Do the following until supports in diagramming view. Before Vancouver, these do the following until is not supported in the diagramming view. So now that is also supported in diagramming view as well. And that is so for this subflow, we can see like this is some this is do the following until I have configured this and we can see this in diagramming view as well. Okay, so this is what we have in the same way in the flow as well. We are having the same thing. I have just configured it just for the demo purpose. So we can see that here. Then we have in now assist recommendations and callback flow logic. So this now assist recommendations, uh, this is something that service now is not available for now for the PDIs and this will be available later on around November and that is an expected timeline. So now following recommendation is a now assist recommendations which you will see here. Uh, let's say if you are creating any new thing action flow logic or subflow at that time, this will recommend us what are you going to create like either a condition or an action or what. Okay, so here you will see these recommendation here in the same way you can see those things here as well. Let me show you those things on flow. So if I just click here for the new. So here it is showing no recommendations found yet. So it is basically ask uh, it is basically trying to get those but as this feature is not available for PDI as of now. So it is not showing any recommendations here, but this is something that you can get to know in future releases. And the same way we are having callback flow logic. So this is a callback flow logic is very useful earlier in workflow. We used to have a rollback. So this callback is the same thing work here as well. So go back to is a kind of uh, once we select this flow logic, this will just uh, pass our context to the previous one like where we want to navigate. So here we need to specify a step. Let's say if this approval is approved and after that where you would like to send your uh, context. So it will just uh, pass your flow to that context. So that is really very useful. So I think this is all from my side for today. Thank you everyone.